Welcome to Graft Tutorials. I recently got a question from Chris Mitchell asking, what if you have a shape with a cutout? Imagine a letter D or O or P with a significant amount of thickness. How do you clip a whole word which isn't type, but is a logo with areas cut out? And to answer that question, I have made this video, so I will explain here what you can do to use something that isn't type to clip, to use it as a clipping mask for your image or your background, which you want to clip. So let's take a look. So seeing that the word or the logo um, in the question isn't a type, I presume it's some sort of an image. Uh, that's why I have an image here of the word pot. Um, you can't use an image as a clipping mask. You can only use a vector object as a clipping mask. But what you can do is make a clipping pot in order to be able to use not this image, but to trace it and use that trace as a clipping mask which is what we're going to do now so for now i'm going to hide my image um you have to take your pen tool for this one so p and with the pen tool we're going to trace the image the pot i'm going to lock the image so i don't move it around and be sure to check if your fill and stroke are set to none. Once you've done that, we're now going to trace the letters with the pen tool. Bear with me because it has been quite a while since I've used this pen tool. And I've always struggled a bit with it to get the things I want to get right. So this is the outside of the P and I'm going to do the inside. doesn't have to be perfect just want to show you what you can do with the trace the clipping part I'm going to fast forward the rest of these letters so you don't have to wait too long so I have all my letters traced now if you're doing this for a logo, um, you might want to use a curvature tool to have nicer curves and you might want to spend a bit more time doing your tracing. But as I said, for this tutorial is just to show you how you can do this. Now we have all the parts in our layers. I'm going to hide the image so you can see my parts here. The next thing you're going to want to do is, for example, the P. We have the outside of the P and we have the inside. And you want this inside to be punched out. So when you use it as a clipping mask, it will be, it won't, well, it will show the image you're clipping with it. If I'm saying that correctly. So what you now have to do is you select both the outside and the inside of your letter and you make sure that the inside of the letter is on top of the outside in the layer window when you've done that you're going to go to your pathfinder tool and if you don't have that one visible you can reach it via the window option and then click pathfinder now with both those Pots. With both those clipping pots selected, you're going to choose the exclude option in the pot finder, which is going to punch out the inside of your letter. And in your layer window, you now have a compound pot. We're going to do the same with the next two letters. So select the O, you make sure that the inside of the O, this one, is on top of the outside. And with both selected, you're going to go to the Pathfinder window again and click Exclude. And now for the last one, I'm going to do the same thing. The letter D, select both inside on top of the outside. Go to the Pathfinder, Pathfinder window and choose Exclude. 
Now you have three compound parts. Um, you can't yet go and use those as a clipping mask. You can. I will show you what happens if you do that. So select all three of your clipping parts and select ER image you're going to use. When you now choose make clipping mask, you only get the letter D and control command Z to undo. The reason you only get the letter D is because the D in the layer window is on top. It's the top layer. And when making a clipping mask, the top layer takes all the bottom layers with it to clip. So only the top layer stays visible as a clipping mask. That's why I'm going to deselect and select all your compound parts. All of them. And then we're going to object compound part make. And now you have one single compound part of all the tree you made before. When you now have that part selected, you select your image you want to clip, and then you choose make clipping mask. You now have your image visible in your letters, which aren't letters, they're a tracing of an image, which you have done with a clipping part. And you made sure that the inner circles are punched out with the pathfinder and that way you can use uh, it's not really you can you, you can't use the word which isn't a type but a logo you have to trace it you have to trace the logo with your pen tool no fill no stroke to make clipping parts and once you've done that you make sure that if there are areas which have to be punched out that you do so with the Pathfinder tool. After you've done that, you make sure that all your compound parts, which you've created now, are selected. You make a new compound part via the object option and then compound part make. So you have one compound part and then you select that one compound part together with your image you want to use. You make sure the compound path is on top in the layer window of the image. You right click and you make a clipping mask and then you get this one. That's it. So I hope that that answers the question I have gotten and that it's something which is doable for you and which will allow you to make that non-type, non-vector logo into a vector, really, actually, and then clip it. So there is a bit more work to it than just using your logo because you cannot clip anything other than a vector object. So let me know in the comments below if this tutorial helped you, if you have any other questions, um, any other things you want to know, and I'll be sure to do my best and answer those questions for you. And for now, be sure to press the thumbs up button if you liked it. Maybe also press the subscribe button with a little bell icon if you want to see more. Stay creative, stay safe, and I hope to see you in the next one.